One of the great things about the EU GMRI is that we started as two separate teams working on our work package, a Norwegian team and a Spanish team. And over the course of the two years up to now, I think we've managed to evolve into working very effectively as one big team. We've been responsible for looking at antibiotic stewardship, looking at surveillance, guidelines, and most importantly, uh, implementation of effective measures for good stewardship. We managed to cover between the two of us, both the human side and the animal side. And we've managed to learn a lot from each other and reflect a lot on the commonalities between the animal side of health and the human side. Our efforts in, are focusing mainly in stewardship. We are proposing several tools for helping countries on implementing uh, these stewardship teams. We are defining guidelines, repositories, uh, the core components or elements uh, for implementing stewardship. And do I, we are doing that not only from the human uh, side but also from the animal side, which is somehow something really new in the European Union. So we are being very ambitious. In the last General Assembly, the Norwegian team presented the work we've done so far on how to implement antibiotic stewardship at different levels of healthcare. We did this by talking about the results of a survey we've conducted in over 20 countries uh, throughout Europe, looking at antibiotic stewardship implementation in both hospital care at the national level and for primary practice and long-term care facilities. We also discussed the results of a workshop we had where we invited experts from all around Europe to come and discuss the barriers and the enablers for implementation of good stewardship programmes in their own countries. We took this further by explaining what our aims and targets are for the next part of the EU GMRI, where we're hoping to use this knowledge to actually be able to go into individual countries and help them at the appropriate level to implement stewardship in a way that's effective for their setting and their region. We are running out the, the stewardship in parallel to the human side, so we are trying to find out which are the core elements for stewardship in animal health, which is uh, something completely new. This has not been done before, and uh, there is a lot of expectation across Europe in that regard. But also we are working on uh, easy implementing tools for surveillance in both human and animals, again focusing on the animal health, what we are doing uh, in collaboration with the ANSES, with France, is uh, trying to establish a network for uh, animal disease uh, pathogens. I think one of the great things from the General Assembly that we've had is that we had a chance to explore big themes. We had a chance to explore One Health, surveillance at a European level, the big, uh, the big questions facing National, uh, national bodies, surveillance networks. But actually what we came down to was also some very simple examples of work in much smaller settings in one country, in one hospital, in one region. And we saw how effective they can be. And I was very inspired by seeing how you have a room full of experts from all over Europe and hear the progress that one country is making in one initiative which they have. And, and how easy it was to think that this could be then taken and moved forward into, uh, into being implemented in other countries. I think the communication team talked about a butterfly effect and I think that's exactly what we want from a butterfly effect. We want to see how one small change in one small country can affect changes throughout the whole of Europe that have a lasting effect for antibiotic stewardship and against uh, antimicrobial resistance. Well, my very impression is that we are in the right path um, that we are, of course, we have things to improve, uh, let's say, for example, the environmental part, but I think that uh, we have built a very solid project and that uh, we are proposing, we are already proposing uh, uh, tools uh, that are sustainable and that could be easily implemented in the EU. I think when you think about the legacy of any project, you like to think of things being finished, of handing over a finished article. 
I think the most exciting thing about the EU JAMRI is that that's not the aim and it never has been. What we're hoping to do is hand over the beginning rather than the end. What we want to do is hand over the tools, the thoughts, the reflections and the methods that we've uncovered over the last three years, which is going to take Europe forward over the next ten years. What we want is to be the basis for which individual member states, organisations, hospitals, GPs can use the information that we've generated and move forward in their own regions, their own countries, to bring the battle against antimicrobial resistance forward. Uh, in one year, uh, I hope we will provide uh, these tools in order to break down the barriers that uh, we have at national level when implementing our national action plans. Thank you.